We're back. Um, back I, we took a little hiatus. Yeah, because um, my medication got screwed up, and uh, my 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 thyroid condition symptoms floored me. Um, so I took a week to uh, get myself back together. Um, and for I, you know, whenever I whenever something like this happens, I try to make it clear. I pin it to my Twitter page. I put it on the Patreon. All that stuff, and still people are like, "Where's the thing? Where's Is there the a show tonight? Where's the thing?" God. Excuse me, there's there a show tonight. Uh, every second <gasps> time, every time. No, oh. Mike, my keyboard has more than one button on it. <laughs> but uh, and it's it's very rare I go a week without doing. This. I mean, dang, I have gone through extraordinary lengths. Yeah. It's been a really long time since we've actually skipped a week. I was, that's to tell you, I mean, I've gone to, I, I when I was in England, I did a whole hoobity jubity across the internet, wired, remote, connect, boop, bleep, bleep. I remember, because I was on at like three in the afternoon. To make the thing work. Just because, and it, it was a, I forget what time it was for me, but it was not, it was, it was all messed up. Just to make stuff work, and this week to tell you how bad off I was because I, I could not stay awake. I I yeah. had I was a mess. Thank you for your patience, everybody. I do appreciate you. Is Dan gonna have a mohawk again? Dan has never had a mohawk. Dan is what? Are you, what? But yes, he's growing his hair out. Yes. Yeah, so he's gonna look like Gandalf eventually. <laughs> Uh, You're gonna be Dandolph the White. Mm. <laughs> uh, so we are back. We've we've got uh, we have terrible things. This well, I'm week. glad you're feeling a little better. I'm glad you're at least on the mend. I'm I'm getting there. I at least tonight I'm awake, which is help. Although I'm on that weird trying to get my my levels of the medication stabilized in my blood i'm going up and down and up i'm at that peak where i'm up and i seem relatively animated normal to you folks at home or at least as normal as i get but right now i am just big ball of chemically induced anxiety it's the worst i used to get that i used to be on an inhaler and it Asthma inhalers are basically chemicalized adrenaline. So you just inhale some adre adrenaline and yeah, you can breathe, but you also spend the next half hour like this. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, yeah. But I'm here. I'm going to get through it because, you know, show must go on all that stuff. And boy, did stuff happen in our absence. We've got a cornucopia of bullshit. Yay! Let's get that intro a rolling. Let's say. Okay, and a go. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide airwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, and bring it back here for a little segment we like to call. What the fuck is wrong with you? And oh my god. We have had people steal all of the wrong vehicles. All of them. All of them. The ambulance, fire, police car, all of the ones is like what? I believe this is an absolute fucking first. Sometimes we do get first here. It's it's increasingly rare as the years go on. Well, this one this one comes to us out of L.A. and uh, somebody uh, stole a, um, a car, definitely on the list of no no cars. I mean, they're all technically no no cars, but they're really no no cars. Um, <gasps> no. Hearse stolen outside Pasadena Church. With woman's corpus inside. Corpse. Corpse. Um. What the. F what. What is. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why? The, a hearse was stolen outside a Pasadena church with a woman's corpse inside. Was involved in a short pursuit before it crashed on the 110 freeway. 
and they fucked up that hearse. Look at those pictures. Oh yeah, that for the front end. That you can't. Yeah, that you're not. You can't just bang them dance out. There, there's. That's what we know. That that's what's called a crumple zone. Children. The front end has ceased to be. <laughs> Officials said the black Lincoln Navigator that was customized for mortuaries was stolen Wednesday night shortly after a mortician parked the vehicle outside to deliver another body for an upcoming funeral. Officials say the deceased body remained inside the hearse and was not connected to the church. Okay, that's a weird thing to point out. As soon as the luxury hearse was reported missing, the sheriff's office said it was an all-out search for the vehicle. Just before 8 a.m. Thursday, officers with the L.A. Police Department spotted an SUV with license plates that match the stolen hearse. The driver failed to stop, leading officers on a chase. The vehicle then crashed in the southbound lanes, striking multiple other vehicles in the process. I just... Okay. Meanwhile, somebody out there is missing their dead mother. Well, seriously, right? They're trying to have a funeral, and Look, their mother has been kidnapped. Their dead mother. I understand... Life can get a little strange, and you have you, you do things you wouldn't normally do. Okay, sure, good. I'll give you that. I'll give you a little bit of leeway on this one. But you think if you need to steal a car, and you get into the car, and you look over your shoulder, and there's a fucking coffin, you should go. You know what? There'll be another car to steal. I'm sure. Maybe of it. I should steal another car. Maybe we should steal a different one without a fucking human body in it. Yeah. I'm also thinking <laughs> for my dad's funeral, my dad was a fire department, was a fireman and he was an honorary captain. They put his coffin on the hook and ladder truck. We didn't have a hearse. They put him on the hook and ladder and the tr fire truck moved him from the funeral home to the church and like so you could steal a fire truck and not even know omega in the channel says takes over my dead body to a whole new level yeah maybe it was like like was this like his long lost love i don't think so i think was this he... like a reanimator thing no no, this was just someone thought they, they, oh, look, a car is running. Hey, it's got a, uh, no, you do not, Debbie, for fuck's sake, you gotta chop up a car to pay your rent. Great. Don't desecrate the corpses. Come Read on. The Read the room. <laughs> Who can blame the guy the driver left the keys in the car? I can blame the guy. I can blame him because there's a dead body in there. I don't care if someone left it running. Don't steal the fucking car with the dead no, body in it. Don't steal. You're, you're, I'm pretty sure you can find another one. Don't steal cars. It's illegal. So, um, occasionally. Grand Theft Auto is not a LARP. Occasionally, here on uh, what the fuck is wrong with you? We we are able to br bring you uh, public service announcements. Um, they don't care. They're dead. Their family cares. Yeah. The seriously. Yeah. Their family's like. Um, don't steal the fucking dead. Don't steal the dead. I mean, really. Come on. Was she full of Zydrate? Come on. Um, so yeah, th this one is a, a health advisory. Um, it's not about the coronavirus, though everyone's all hyped up about that one right now. Oh no. This one's a little bit more uh some uh um recommendations uh regarding a uh, holistic health and uh you know. Sometimes you go on the internet and you'll find, you'll ask about what should I do for this? And people will say, well, you know what? You want to whiten your teeth? You need some peroxide and scrub it in there. Or, you know, you know, you know, you want to, to, to deal with, you know, Lance of Boyle. Here's how you do that. This one, I don't think crowdsourcing was, was the best idea because um, they got a really bad suggestion. Putting potatoes up your butt won't cure hemorrhoids. PSA, just in case you didn't know. I could have told you this. Uh, oh. My, my people, it's like 
Jesus, St. Bridget, the potato. <laughs> you're kind of you're kind of well schooled in all the all the options the potato can offer you. Doctors are went through 15 pounds of potatoes a week and none of them went up our ass. <laughs> <laughs> Doctors are starting to get very concerned about people who subscribe to a dangerous home remedy touted on numerous websites, which involves inserting a potato into the rectum. Credible medical professionals are emphasizing that this will not, in fact, help with hemorrhoids. Also, known as files. There is no medical evidence that putting frozen potatoes inside the anus can help cure piles, so I would urge caution to anyone thinking of doing it. Doesn't go, uh, Dr. Deanna Wells um, doesn't go. Uh, De sorry, Dr. Deanna Gall doesn't go into uh, the details of the possible consequences, but one would think there are enough cautionary tales to discourage su such effort. Uh, piles often go away on their own a few days. Some are tried and trusted. There are some tried and trusted ways to keep them at bay. You should drink clean fluids, maintain a fiber-rich diet, and try to have a regular warm bath to ease itching and pain. Not shoving a potato up your ass. I see a few problems with this. Only a few. One, potatoes are pretty much entirely starch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know what comes with starch in moist areas? Infections? Yes. Yeah. Also, potatoes grow underground. Yeah. Which means, unless you wash them very carefully, potatoes have dirt on them. Yeah. Also, infections. Yeah. Third problem I see is potatoes don't have great structural integrity. <laughs> no, 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 they don't. Like even when they're even when they're not cooked, they get crumblier as they're cooked. But when they're not cooked, even the peel, like you're not gonna get the whole thing out, is what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> Sendai guy in the channel says one advantage: potatoes are already used to dark places. I'm not really concerned about the potatoes. <laughs> So I love the people in the channel going, oh, poor potato. <laughs> also, like, are we talking about a little round red potato or like a fucking Idaho potato? <laughs> no, it just went through my head. I, that I, makes a difference. I, I couldn't unbidden from from ages past rose up in my head. Hey, ho, I'm from Idaho. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Like, nine-tenths of the people watching this have no idea what that is, but, like, one guy just went, Hey, I saw that commercial! I saw that one! Remember that? Yeah. Oh. And, like, it says, like, one of the tips is, like, to grate the potato. No. And I could, like, if you're not putting it up your butt, you're just laying, like, you know what, even still, don't do it. It's all don't. starch. No, it's just gonna make it's just, it's just it's gonna make your situation worse. No. Just buy some preparation H. Right, like a like a grown up. I mean, don't, don't, I mean, who is like? Well, I have to fix this problem. I could go to Walgreens, but I have this potato. They're open twenty four hours for fuck's sake. Well, not Walgreens, but some of them are. Hemorrhoids because half the makeup YouTubers are using that shit as primer. Okay. <laughs> They're using Preparation H and Vagisil as makeup primer. Oh, I don't know why. Ah, uh, so our uh, next one. This is wow. I the the headline alone just sort of rocked me back on my heels. Um, I think I have found out why perhaps Alabama ranks so low in uh in school scores. Um, mystery fucking solved. School administrators allegedly spent seven hundred thousand dollars on strip club, booze, and online gaming. Wow. An audit of an Alabama school district showed administrators allegedly misused more than seven hundred thousand dollars of public money on strip clubs 
liquor stores, non-existent vendors, and scholarships for an administrator's children. Plural. In total, six former and current employees of Montgomery Public Schools were named in connection with 700... With 700... I'm old and I'm hyped up. Leave, give me a second. $703,297.66. 66 cents is important. Uh, that was claimed as misused or missing between October 2017 and September 2018. Walter James, the former assistant principal of Jefferson Davis High School, is accused of mishandling $330,000 and uh, $330,060 and 15 cents. They're getting very precise on this shit. <laughs> the audit found many of the invoices he submitted for goods and services paid on behalf of the school were questionable and that one of the vendors was his spouse. Um, let's see. Uh, additionally, $45,000 were charged to uh, Chauncey Shines, former athletic director. Uh, is accused of using a debit card to rack up more than 5000 in purchases, including a gentleman's club, a local bar, online gaming sites. But this motherfucker World of Warcrafting. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Booze, boobs, and freaking internet games. Yeah. Somebody's lonely. Somebody grown the fuck up. Jesus. Well, that's probably why he's lonely. <laughs> yeah, I play me some video games, but come on, I don't play five thousand dollars worth of video games. <laughs> maybe over it's the probably, course, probably like gambling, probably like online poker and shit. Maybe no. Some people are like, bet you it was Fortnite. It might have been Fortnite. Do you have to pay for Fortnite? No, the game. It's well, yes. I, I about to say no, it's free to play, but no, yes, you do have to pay for Fortnite because um all the, the extra stuff like the hats and the costumes and you can be like the lightsaber. Fortnite's like a fighting game, right? It's a it's a it's a shooting game. Everybody runs around shooting each other. In fancy outfits. Yes. And then there's dancing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's like an eighties music video. <laughs> Uh, yes. I'm hip to what the kids are doing these yeah. days. How do you do, fellow kids? How did they think they were just $700,000 was going to diss the fuck up here and they're going to be like, eh, I'll be fine with it. I don't know. Eh, I'll be fine with it. I love the irony of the dude paid for his own kids to right. go. They paid for his kids to go to a school. I'm not sending my kids to this district. They're running out of money. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck about the kids around here. They're going to private school. <laughs> Public funds. I mean, Christ almighty. <laughs> I don't, that don't is, even really have jokes. That's some bullshit. That is a mind-blowing amount of money. How did you... How did they think this would... Oh, this will be fine. Like, this started small... It started with like going to the strip club on the on the school district card, and then they didn't get caught. So yeah. the next person did. It. So the next person did it, and next thing you know, boom, seven hundred fucking grand. <laughs> you got to keep your grift small. Yeah. Put it in the margin of error. What what do they call it? Shrink in retail. They call it shrink. Yeah. You got to slip it in under there. Yeah. Not, you know, half a fucking million dollars. All right. Or three, almost three quarters of a million dollars. Yeah. Which, you know, I'm sure those kids couldn't use that for anything. They probably don't need new computers or sports uniforms or, Books, you know, food. lunch debt paid off. Oh, we, uh, of course, the uh, one of the things that's flying around the news right now is the coronavirus. Wash your damn hands. Um, and, uh, it, it, it's one of those buzzwords and I, I kind of, you got to admire the hustle of this next story. Um, because, uh, when things get lodged in the public consciousness and they start to in induce a panic, certain times you can use that to your advantage. 
Um, local deputies offer to test meth for coronavirus. <laughs> That's amazing. Local sheriff's department issued a clever warning about possible meth contamination. St. Francis County Sheriff's Office posted a picture of their Facebook page warning people the meth could be contaminated with the coronavirus. Most reads the Sheriff's Department will test the meth for free. Please, please contact any officer and they'll test the meth in the privacy of your own home. Amazing. I love this. <laughs> I probably saw the news article that like 30% of Americans are refusing to drink Corona beer. Because that was of coronavirus. That wasn't true. That was actually that was thirty eight percent are refusing to drink Corona under any circumstances. But oh, that was one of those internet things where it got okay. hyped up and went around. But fair, they were just like, "Fuck it, we're, we're probably gonna catch at least one guy." Well, no, this is it, actually this is not entrapment. People on the channel are like this is entrapment. No, this is not true. Entrapment is when the police officers induce you to do something illegal. Right. If you do something illegal, if you were having possession of meth and you say, hey, look, I've got this illegal thing, that's not entrapment. You're just an idiot. You already bought the meth. They're just mm. coercing you into a confession. And here's this is a popular misconception about law enforcement. Law enforcement are allowed to lie. Yeah. They the can. Thing, if you're a cop, you have to tell me that's not true. They can lie to you. They mm -hmm. do lie to you. Oh, shit. Uh, I, 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 this is me sound like one of those old TV fucks, but um, you should watch The Wire because some of the shit, and this is based on real shit that Dave Simon, David Simon uh, experienced when he was in Baltimore. The, the, the episode with the Xerox machine that they, they, they lie to the fucking kid and tell him it's a lie detector. <laughs> and it's, it's, it, it's based on a real thing that absolutely fucking happened and it fucking worked. They can lie to you. Yeah. And if, if cops weren't allowed to lie, undercovers wouldn't be a thing. No. No. And it's a thing. So they can lie. Jesus Christ. If you're like, oh no, the meth's got the coronavirus. Oh no, I better call the cops and have them test my mess. <laughs> that is not how that works. They're charging three fucking grand to test a human. <laughs> nobody's nobody's footing the bill to test your mess, kid. Sorry. Uh, you got sold a bill of goods on that one. But that that's fucking clever, and I hope they catch some people. Cause what a story. Yeah, not a big fan of meth. Not a big We that would be a different thing, but meth, not a big fan. I still don't see the upside to meth. We've been doing this for a long time, yep. and I have yet for somebody to tell me what the upside of meth is. It's very popular, but... Like, I don't know what the good part is. It's it's very popular, but it's just absolutely terrible at the same time. Like Fortnite. So, um... <laughs> all right. Next up... Oh, honey. This, this story... I'm sad on so many levels. I'm, I'm, I'm just, oh, 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 ma'am. What, what, what were you, what is she, what is she doing? 36 year old Ohio woman accused of calling 911 after parents cut off cell phone service. How? I guess with that service, you can still call 911. Yep. Uh, Salonia Katarpo was arrested on. She's mad. She's she, so fucking mad. She big mad, man. You Salonia, deserve that. You're a criminal. Salonia Katarpo was arrested February 13th by Massillon police and charged with disrupting police services, a fourth degree felony. Jail records show Katarpo 36 repeatedly called emergency dispatchers because her parents had terminated her cell phone service, which they paid for. Officer contacted her and advised she called emergency services only for emergency. Two hours later, she called again and was, quote, belligerent and stated she believed it to be a legitimate issue. How fucking spoiled do you have to be to think mommy and daddy shutting off your cell phone is a fucking emergency? 
I mean, I think I can figure out why they shut it off. Yeah. It's not exactly, I don't have to be Encyclopedia Brown to track down that mystery. Um, Cause you're a spoiled little shit. 36? 36. I thought this was, all right, I missed that. I thought she was like 19. No, th- I mean, she looks great for 36. She does. Say. She looks fantastic. But 36, look. I understand, and we have all been in the... Welcome to to the 21st century. We've all been in the position where we need some help from family members. That's a thing. Yeah. But this is where your parents are like, oh, hon, we're helping you out, and you abuse that shit. You know, because if you're calling 911 to abuse the police, God only knows what you put your parents through. You probably suck in general. Yeah. Yeah. Because, dang. It's... Yeah. The, like, the, what did you think they were going to do? Arrest your parents? Right. Make for them co- cutting off your cell phone? <laughs> we're just going to bill them or something? Girl. Did you think the, the do you think the police could turn your cell phone back off? They don't give a fuck about your phone. <laughs> and the best part is when you're annoying the police with your cell phone they know exactly where the fuck you are. That is true. You're like, that, that is a come and arrest me, but, but the reason she was calling 911 is because it's the only thing she could call on the cell phone. Yeah. That's one of those... <laughs> I, I think that's one of those provisions they put in, you know, now that cell phones are kind of... That's one of those things I think they, you can also call the cell phone company. Yeah, because then you could pay the bill. They Which like would that. have been the more appropriate, and I mean, there's no appropriate person to yell at in this no. situation. Certainly not someone working in a call center for $10 an hour. But at least you would have been in the ballpark oh, of somebody that could have done a thing for you. Couldn't you have gone to, like, Walmart or Target or something and got a prepaid SIM? Just get a fucking burner. Right, serious. Good lord. Is one of the cats in here snoring? <laughs> oh, yeah, Peggy's in here. She's snoring. Our last, our last one this week is from Liverpool, and we got video. Oh my god, do we have video. This one is amazing. Th- th- this video runs for a full six minutes, so I'm just going to let it run while we talk. Um, you can watch in the background. Um, so... Uh, I think the best thing... We're just going to start with the video here and let you all see. There you go. Um, Court updates as digger driver who smashed up Travel Lodge jailed. And you watch here right now. John Manley, 35, sent his digging career to the Edge Lane Hotel uh, after not receiving his Christmas wages. Dad who smashed up a Travel Lodge hotel with a digger because he wasn't paid over Christmas has been sentenced today. He was jailed for five years in four months after a judge told him he'd left a trail of destruction. They're well, not gonna pay you now. Yes, yeah, seriously, look at look at this. Holy crap, there he goes. Oh <laughs> I love that one dude in the in the parking lot's like, oh no. Oh how no. This, how is this gonna solve your problem? Oh, you're not gonna pay me my money. You're right. You're right. You got us. Here's your money. We're very <laughs> sorry. Fuck no. No. That's not how the world works. Um. No. Seriously. Good. What a tiny, cute little digger, though. <laughs> it's like a toy. <laughs> Everybody in the parking lot's like, I don't know what the fuck do I do. Everything in Europe is so small and cute. Americans are like. Burr! No, they're just... The digger, it's so cute. It, he's still going. Good God. You couldn't drive an American digger into the lobby like that. I love how people are just like casually getting out of his way. Yeah, he smashed the place up. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm not missing the continental breakfast for that. Though, <laughs> it's fucking free. And you should... I, I don't have the sound on because, you know, we're trying to talk, but you should... Everybody in the, in the parking lot's going... Fucking fuck, fucking 
<laughs> fucking, 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 fuck, fucking, fuck. That's just a long street. There's like 40 guys in, in bright yellow vests who are just like, the fuck do we do? <laughs> this is no, he just, he just, okay, his co-workers ain't digging this. He's got to run out of gas eventually, eh? He's just, he just keeps going. What? Which? Where'd you get to? I just got to the part where one guy had to pull the other guy out of the way. Yeah. He was about to get dug. He just, he just keeps... John, this is not manly. This is not a manly way to behave. Yeah. This is really one of those situations like, oh, shit. The whole ceiling just fell in. Oh, shit. Can you imagine you're in that hotel and you're like asleep? <laughs> and all of a sudden it's the fucking uh. opening credits to Bosom Buddies. <laughs> There's a reference no one's going to get. <laughs> oh, the all deepest. Of a your room doesn't exist anymore. The deepest of the deep cuts. I mean, how is this going? I mean, this is not going to. This makes your problem worse. Dear Internet, once upon a time, Tom Hanks was a comedian. Before he was America's dad. <laughs> diggy, diggy hotel. Oh, Devo. Oh, God. Diggy, diggy hotel. Um, <laughs> what was your book? How did you think this was going to work out for you? What, what was the. All right. S step one steal. Backo digger. Step two, smash up travel lodge. Step three. I you sure showed them. I mean, the, what you do is you go get a lawyer. Yeah. And you tell them these people owe me money and they have money and the lawyer will go, oh, really? Let's go get your money and get some for me. I you like money, to too. You go to one of those people on the news networks that are really tacky, but always looking for a way to stick it to the man. Right. Like, you know, there's there's someone on every news network who's like that. Like, I get results in my $10 suit. You do not do this because this means you, you, they, they now, they're never giving you that money and you owe more money. You're going to give them a lot of money. You're going to get a lot of... Look, I can't even... Ca oh, my God. You're going to go to jail, and you're going to give them a lot of money. Just think, just thinking in my head about the, old, the renovations we just had to do. That is... That's a hundred... Okay, that's easily a hundred thousand dollars worth of damage, if not more. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. And he just keeps going. This video lasts a full... He just... I'm... The stamina. Where did he get the digger? He stole it from the construction site. Oh, okay. Oh, there he's loose. He's loose. They're trying to stop him, but no, no one wants to get in, in his way. He's clearly a fucking psychopath. I oh god, the guy well is walking behind the machine. They opened up the the bonnet behind it. And they're trying to find. They're trying to pull the power loose. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Why am I laughing? It's kind of funny. No, like my dad drove an excavator. Oh. He could have eaten that thing. It's a miracle. It's just so tiny. It's a miracle no one was hurt. And he said he's shaking his fist and yep. Yeah. It's a miracle no one was hurt. God. This this is not a way to solve the problem. They're not gonna pay you now. No, you you're coming out of this with less money. Yeah, five years and four months. Five years in jail and four uh, four years. He's banned for drive from driving. <laughs> no, that's. I assume that's after he's out of jail. Unless he's. I don't think they let you drive in jail. I'm pretty sure. That's what I'm saying. Like. Yeah. Because that's shorter than his jail sentence. Yeah. So if he comes out and is like, well, didn't drive for four years. 
Well, it, okay, it's funny. It's, all right, three euros is funny because someone else is paying. They weren't in pain. They were just running after this digger, reaching into the hood, trying they to des- found it. Trying desperately to find what wire they could pull to yeah. stop it. I mean, thank God nobody was hurt. Oh. That's a fucking miracle. Sometimes it's not about the money. Well, that's a lot of money. Because, you know, I'm pretty sure at most he's what? A grand, two grand. Yeah, I sincerely doubt his lost Christmas wages would cover that. No, yeah, like a th- uh, like a hundred grand. Yeah, you just you go get miss. That's the first thing we learned this week. You better call Saul because they will. They can't if you can prove. Look, this is my yeah. money. They have not given me my money. The lawyer will go. Oh, really? We will get your money, and they will give me some money too. And everybody's happy. Yeah. The the backhoe is not your lawyer. <laughs> That's probably an anime somewhere. <laughs> the backhoe lawyer. It's in like a little schoolgirl skirt. <laughs> It's really obscure. You can only get it in specialty shops. There's like three dudes on Twitter who've got an avatar of it. Okay. Um. <laughs> and they're all, no, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, we've learned uh, that um, 911 is not customer service. We've said this several times. They are 911 at- is not, in fact, a joke in your town. The difference between 911 and customer service is. Customer service isn't allowed to come and put you in a small room for a long time. No, they're not. Though they wish they could. Yes. We've uh, we've learned the police can lie. They're allowed to lie. They're allowed to lie. It's the it's legal. It's not against the law for the police to lie. Do remember that. And it's not against the law, apparently, for them to just put a sign called stupid criminals come in for free. And actually, even when it is against the law, the police will still lie. So yeah, they'll, still, you know, they'll still do it. They'll still do it. They've gotten good at it. Um, yeah. We've learned that if you take a little, no one's going to notice. If you take three quarters of a million dollars, that's a little bit. You've seen Office Space, right? Yes. That's a little bit more than the, the, the pennies. Like, the penny, right. It's not like Superman 3. Come on. Got to keep your grip small. <clears throat> keep, keep reasonable. Um, we've le- I can't believe I'm, I have to. I do. I do believe I have to say the sentence. We've learned don't put, put a potato up your ass. I mean, <sighs> for any reason. For any reason. It's not safe for kink purposes either. Right. I'm sure you could find a a, a, a pre a human made potato, a synthetic potato designed to go up your butt. Probably. Okay. Science has done many I mean, mighty things. You can find a dildo shaped like a dragon's penis, and who even knows if that's accurate? Right. But you can buy it. Right. So you can probably buy a potato butt plug. People on the channel keep it. They you you want they want me to see the ass browns pun. Don't put a tater in your tutor. <laughs> Lupin, that's awful. I love it. It's awful. I love it. And finally, we've learned if the car you're stealing has a corpse in it, maybe don't steal that one. Yeah. I mean, probably you shouldn't be stealing them at all. But if you have to pick one to steal, pick the one without the corpse. Try to pick an unoccupied car in general. I mean, you could get like 20 of those little pine trees. It's still a corpse. Yeah. (laughs) I I was just thinking about... What are you going to do with it? I'm thinking about National Lampoons where they put grandma on the fucking roof of the 